When you're selling, what happens when somebody starts with the price objections? Hi, I'm Brian Toder with The Most Expensive Fair, asking for the money with this week's quick tip for you. If you've ever gone to any of the sales courses, they explain why you need all of the rebuttals, techniques, tricks of the trade, and a lot of sneaky stuff to overcome price objections, right? Right now, I have a stack of cards on my desk from one of those courses. The cards have some of the rebuttals to the objections. Are they helpful? Probably, but mostly they help people who sell sales courses. This is why I don't teach selling techniques in my course. I only teach closing the sale. In closing the sale, it's crucial to overcome the objections. But these techniques are a bit old school in my opinion. Here are the three of the cards and quick tips on handling these objections that aren't old school. One, I need to think about it. Ooh, a goodie. When you hear, I need to think about it, it actually means I'm really afraid to do anything and I'm going to stall you until I can get out of here, okay? Here's what the courses will tell you to do. You haven't really explained it enough and they don't quite understand why they need to buy, so you need to explain it even more. Right, you may as well try to change the politics too, why don't you? The tip. They're listening to you because they need something from you. If they need to think about it, then you missed what they need from you. So find out the top three reasons why they are with you. Maybe it's health or money. Just find out what they need from you and solve it. Two, it's too expensive. I hardly get this a lot. Why? Because earlier, when I was explaining the program, I would make sure that they were in the ballpark by doing some qualifiers. Can they spend money? Are they the only person who can make a decision or do they need to talk with someone else? Are they wasting time? Finding out about these items may filter out the people who need to think about it. Lastly, three, can you lower the price? There are two different ways to approach this. The easy one is when you say no, we have the same fee for everyone. Don't blink, they're just asking. Or you can have a discount if they buy it now. And this is important. You need to say this before they ask the question, can you lower the price? Otherwise, they will wonder if you would have told them about the discount and they'll leave. Then ask for the money by asking them for their credit card, by asking them when they're ready to start, by giving them a time limit, by giving them a time incentive like a special discount if they buy now. No one really does anything without action. Without action, nothing will happen. Not in making plans, not with your kids, not in sales. Once you overcome the objections, then be sure to ask for the money. And it's the step that many people are afraid to do. But you can do it.